Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the CRM Excel template. First, let's go into the settings page. Perfect. This is where we set up things like language and currency, as well as several data lists and color coding. Let's update our list. In the lead source, we'll just add Google Form. Perfect. We can also change our color coding. Let's say we want to keep a green light if the last contact with our lead was less than two days ago. And let's say it turns orange when it's been less than five. Anything above will turn red. Great. Let's go into the translation tab. As you can see, we already have quite a few languages set up. We have English, French, Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, and Dutch. However, if you want, you can still add another language by entering all of the expressions that are present in the tool. Once this is done, you can go back into the settings and change your language. Let's have a look at the product and services. We can add up to 20 product and services. Perfect, just adding one now. As per the salesperson, we can add up to 20 of them. We'll add Jessica Alba as a new salesperson. Great! Now, let's get to the core of this tool, the CRM. We'll go through the process of adding a new lead. Let's call him Richie McCann. Great. For the company, we'll just put a random name, we'll put a random phone number, oops, and a random email address. For the city, of course, for Richie Macau, we'll put Auckland, New Zealand. The salesperson will set it up as our newly created salesperson, Jessica Alba. And for the lead source, we can just say he contacted us through Google Form. Finally, for the product and services, let's assign him our other software installation service. Let's say this is a service we sell at $100 and for the estimated quantity, we'll just say we have 20 desks to set up. Great. All of these fields are automated, so nothing to worry about here. We only need to fill in the next contact. Let's just say our target is to contact him by the 22nd of June. Great. Don't worry about this message now. If you want, you can add any notes relating to this customer. Perfect. Let's go into the contact log. Here is where we enter all of the contacts with all of our customers or leads. So let's look for our lead number, which is 14. Um, let's say that we contacted him today, on the 18th of June. Let's say that he contacted us through email. And for the status, let's say we're still negotiating. If we go back into the Leads tab, you can see that the error is gone. Finally, let's analyze the results. First things first, always click to update. This ensures that all of our dashboards are up to date with the latest data. Great. Now we can choose to add, either have an overview of all of our leads by all of the salespeople, or we can choose to filter and say, for example, look at only Jessica's 
leads. As we can see, we have Richie under the, the negotiation status. Finally, let's look into the dashboard. Once again, always click to update. Here, we have an overview of sales and leads metrics with, for example, the total amount won or lost, which you can also visualize by percentage based on value or lead quantity. We can also see the leads by day of last contact and days until next action based on the color coding we set up in the settings. Finally, the remaining graphs group the leads and customer by different categories. For example, by salesperson, by contact form or lead source, product and services, etc. That's it. You know everything you need to know about our CRM template. Enjoy!